Doggies fans, all things Bulldogs, Player Watch 2023, Braden Burns is the next episode. Um, this guy is now 26 years old, turning 27, the same age as uh, the likes of his former teammates in the juniors where he started. The Dubbo kid um, went to Canamble, then joined the Penrith Panthers. Um, he played alongside those greats, Cleary, Lil Y, Ed Woods, Fisher Harris, Leota, and many, many more. Corey Hawera-Naira and his good mate Corey Waddell. Um, he played for the Panthers in 2015-2016. Cameron Serraldo was his coach, and now those two are reunited some seven or eight years later as they um, pursue a the glory days at the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs Club. Uncle Rod Silva. His uncle is Rod Silva. Um, I didn't know that till he did an interview when he came to the club um, last year. And, you know, played 14 games last year. He's played 54 NRL games. Has struggled to be a consistent first grader. Um, was starting to play well in around 2018, 2019. Um, and suffered a couple of bad injuries, hamstring injuries have plagued him. Um, he's had some um, really bad knee or, or leg injuries. Um, I can't remember what type. But um, Braden Burns, very skillful player, played on the wing, played in the centre. His debut was against uh, the Panthers, actually, and he dropped a lot of bombs in South's close win over the Panthers that year. That was going back to 2017. Um, his former uh, teammate peppering him with, with the high ball. So Burns, surprisingly lining up at, at fullback in the opposed sessions. Many thought that would have been Jake Avarillo, me included. Um, Hayes Perham seems to have won that spot. But Braden Burns in the first trial with Perham playing in the Maori All-Stars. Braden Burns was an absolute um, star in that first half. Um, he topped the run meters for the backs. He uh, had a couple of line break assists. He had um, some tackle breaks and, this, and the like. He, I think he caught a couple of high balls. And, but what was really impressive was his uh, positional play, his organization. The defense was very, very good in the, from the Bulldogs in the first half. In saying that, they were playing off the front foot. Um, he, he gave a great try um, line break assist to Jake Avarillo, which was the catalyst for um, after a Jacob Caraz offload, with Burns backing up through the middle, doing the support play. Um, he then got, did a really crisp pass to Avarillo, who that was his first touch in the game as well, and he busted straight through and, and looked like um, it was very, very good. Um, Braden Burns... Um, he ran through the middle lots of times looking to um, provide that support play. And he also, um, what I also really liked about Braden Burns is his work ethic. He um, did a lot of yardage runs as suggested by his meters. He's um, stepping off both feet, proved elusive. He's, a, he's like over six foot and he's a, almost 100 kilos. So he's not a small boy at all. Um, he looks a little bit trimmer though this year in the fullback role and you know what he's going to give Hayes Perham a real run for his money I rated both of their performances very good both guys had um, a platform laid for them by their forwards so they're getting the ball in good field position a lot of the time and when they had to work it out from their own end they did a really um, admirable job we'll see how they go under fatigue Hayes obviously with a lot of nervous energy he struggled um, in the back end. But um, speaking about Braden Burns, this kid, um, last year, he, he laid on a couple of important plays which led us to um, led us to victory in round one. He copped a, um, a shoulder to the face as he offloaded to Ockenbohr, and Ockenbohr scored the try, which won us the game in round one against the Cowboys. And we know what season they went on to have. Um, Braden laid that on a couple of times last year. He scored four tries from, I think, 14 games. Got another injury last year as well. So injuries have plagued him. That's one thing which is going to uh, potentially be his um, Achilles heel. And hopefully it's not his, literally his, his Achilles heel. But, um, you know, 
I think he's got a lot of talent and obviously somebody has um, had a chat with Serraldo because you could have got you know very short odds that Jake Avarillo would have started fullback or been in the running for it but he was moved to centre quite early um, apparently from all the um, the reports from from the people watching all the training sessions all the fans you get down there and there's a couple of you know well, they call them spies but I don't believe they're spies they're just um very interested in what's going on <laughs> um anyway Braden Burns um he's off contract this year many people have ruled a line through him um as far as him being part of our side moving forward he is he's only 26 so his best years are now this is where he should be hitting his straps um and I guess showcasing his ability in the fullback role shows his versatility. So that makes him a, you know, an investable commodity, using those sort of big business words, um, for another team, or potentially our own, um, for 2024. Now, the fact that we've got the likes of Perham, Avarillo, Caraz and Burns, and also Declan Casey's off contract, Avarillo also off contract, all these guys can play anywhere in the back line, and it's that versatility and that football brain, which is, um, if it doesn't keep them in the Canterbury-Bankstown Bulldogs, it's hopefully going to keep their NRL career going or um, overseas if that's an option for them. But um, I'm looking forward to Braden Burns. I think um, he looks like he's bought into having Cameron Serrato in the club. Um, as I said, a former player who did well in that Penrith side and was bought by South Sydney as someone that they saw as having a lot of potential. Um, and he's been a part of their side. He was a part of their side for three or four years um, before he made the journey across to the Bulldogs. So that's Braden Burns, Player Watch 2023, Episode 4. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you to look out for Braden Burns. He shows he's got all that fullback quality. He did the work. It was a trial against an inferior opposition. I won't hide from saying that. But in saying that, everything he did looked classy and it was the way he played, not the opposition he played. But we will see how he fares when under fatigue um, because under fatigue is when he has had um, you know, the errors defensively and um, sometimes struggled to get um, quality ball onto his winger and stuff like that. But um, I think he improves every time he plays a game of football, Braden Burns. And I'm expecting him to have a big season off contract and really contribute to a successful Bulldogs year, hopefully with us um, making the finals in 2023. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the subscribers. We're nearly at 450. It's getting closer and closer. Um, only two weeks out from the uh, beginning of the rugby league, two or three weeks out, and the trial coming up against Cronulla. All right, thanks, guys, and thanks for watching and tuning in. Cheers.